Hey guys, give you an update on Mr. Jeff Pittman's trailer out of Ohio. Let's see what we got done today, or what I got done rather. Ain't no we to it, it's just me. But anyways, uh, we had moved all the reels to the front where the spare tire was. So this is going to be his soft wash reel. The bottom one's going to be his pressure washer reel. And the top is the water hose reel. And so when he turns it on, the water, it'll feed, go up into the tank to that uniseal. So we got that ran, got everything bolted down. Uh, got the gas tank mounted, got the machines mounted, all the tanks are mounted. Got the manifold built got it ready this right here is going to be his uh wash his hands dump station right here so that'll, that'll have a cut off on it he's running the ar-45 this is his uh bypass hose curled up right there and uh this right here this is an inch and a quarter that comes with them and I always take those off guys and put a half I mean put a one inch so that one inch line will run from there to there so there's his manifold so he's got his water going in he's got his soap going in and he got his chemical going in so each one has its own uh, water filter so his gas root pump has a water filter the uh, Pressure washer has a water filter. Put him a cut off right here just in case he had to work on it. Uh, this is the back side of the manifold right here. So I got to wire the wire into the uh, battery, but there's your box, your where well, your remotes inside the box, your control panel. Got your Soap, uh, solenoid, stainless steel. That'll go to a soap tank, so we got to get a soap tank. There's your 12 volt mounted, so that turns your bleach off and on. And uh, again, we are going with the uh, uniseals, so let me jump up here and show you guys real quick. So there you go, there's your uniseal going on top of the bleach tank. That goes all the way down to the bottom. We put a bigger heavy hose on the end of it to hold it down. So this is the little rig that I keep telling you guys that you can do anything you want to do with it. So he's got the 500 gallon tank. He's got the 55 gallon vertical tank for his bleach. He's got the 17 gallon uh, aluminum gas tank. He's got the manifold system that controls his water soap and chemical and that's one i built today for him mounted on a stainless steel stand the legs stainless steel bracelets braces every screw that's used on this trailer is stainless steel everything is either stainless steel or aluminum so you don't have to worry about rust and uh this is going to be a nice nice little trailer so now I had that reel back here. So I moved it up here. So this gives him this space in the back. Now guys, I put a stain on this deck so that it will be water resistant. Uh, help preserve it a little bit longer. It turned out real good. And uh, so he'll have plenty of room back here, put a surface cleaner, whatever he wants to put back here. And uh, so next thing we're going to do is mount him a toolbox up front. We're going to put a toolbox right here uh, on the tongue. That way he can put his tools in. Got to mount his battery and then wire everything up and she'll be ready to fire up. So this week we'll be firing this one off. <laughs> so all the plumbing is done. No more plumbing. So everything's been plumbed. All the hoses has been run to the reels. So everything is finished. Now he's running 
a 10 gallon Honda. It's the new GX 800. He's running the uh, big breather on it like I have on mine. This is the fuel injection. This comes with the legacy pump. Now, <clears throat> guys, I was one of the first ones to uh, take one of these and try it with a legacy pump. Jonathan at North Georgia Airless sells these. And here's his number right here. So give Jonathan a call. You won't get no better service. So I use them and Etawa. They both are great people to do business with. Uh, so I got to run his gas line to his pressure washer, which is nothing. That's very simple. So anyway, guys, there's your plumbing. So the way we do it, guys, is we come out of the uh, bulkhead with a two-inch line. Put a cutoff right there. And this two-inch line runs, and then it tees off. So see, one inch feeds the gas roof pump, and the other inch feeds the pressure washer. So you get plenty of volume. And uh, like I said, this is going to be a sweet, sweet little rig here. And this rig will do anything you want to do, any kind of commercial work you want to do, do houses. Uh, you can run two guys off of this all day long because you can put one guy on the gas roof pump and uh, he can wash and rinse, okay? Wash and rinse. Uh, you know, again, I don't sell these things. I don't make any money off of them. So I'm not trying to promote them one way or the other. I'm just telling you what works good for me. And uh, so this is what I built this weekend. Uh, put it, put all the stuff on yesterday. Got everything bolted down today. Everything plumbed today. Everything, uh, all I got to do now is wire it up. Put water in it. Put bleach in it. And she'd be ready to fire off. So this is Jeff Pittman's trailer. He's out of Ohio. He and I have been trying to get this thing built for the last six months. And uh, I've had his trailer and all his supplies here at my house for several months and so now we're finally getting on to it so we can get it taken care of uh but anyway he'll be coming get this here in just a few uh couple weeks let's see you hook the roof pump to the fuel cell no brian i don't hook it to it because you know the i'm not smart enough to figure that out the uh roof pump is gravity fed from the gas tank so I mean, I know I could do it. I just had to put a little pump to it, and it ain't worth all that because they'll run all day long in that one little tank. So with this gas uh, tank here, he should be able to run this pressure washer just about all week before he has to fill up. It's nice and pretty. Uh, got it mounted down real good, so she's there. So anyway, guys. Again, this is the proportioner system that I'm making. Uh, and I did a different design on this. I really like this. Uh, nothing on here will rust. Everything, even the clamps are stainless steel. The legs are stainless, uh, are aluminum. The braces are stainless steel. All the screws and bolts we use are stainless steel. So stainless steel, aluminum, or plastic. So nothing's going to be able to rust. So he should be able to get many years of use out of this trailer. And uh, as long as you do the maintenance on them, as long as you do the maintenance on these uh, gas roof pumps, they'll last you a long time. And again, here's the back side. Now I've got a, the wires hanging there. I've got to wire that in. But... Uh, so on the bottom of that solenoid, his soap will come out and that'll go to the soap tank up top. It goes around the other side to the soap metering valve. So everything is waterproof. Uh, everything's inside that box. So we don't have to worry about anything. His little uh, control panel to his remote is inside that box. You don't have to worry about water getting to it. You don't have to worry about stuff rusted out. We run one inch line on everything. 
Southern style surfactant. We're hoping this week, they've been telling me this the last couple weeks, so we got everything they needed. They needed the measurements of it, how much it takes, and all that good stuff that they put on the bottle, so we're hoping we have that pretty quick. Uh, no, I, Brian, I don't have any issue priming the uh, soap dial, none whatsoever. I don't have any problem priming any of it. I mean, once I hook the water to it and cut it on, it primes right up. If you do these things right, you don't have no issue with them. So but anyway, guys, that's it. He's got three electric Titan reels on this bad boy. This is going to be a sweet, sweet little outfit. Let me show you guys what I do here. Now, I take the stacking kits and I mount them to the floor after I put the reels on them. And I want you to look how sturdy. I mean, this thing is not going anywhere. And then I put self-tappers through the frame of the trailer into the side of the uh, reels. That does two things. It stabilizes it and it grounds it to the trailer because the way I do my wiring is I just run a ground to the trailer so those reels are already grounded. I don't have to run a uh, ground wire to the battery because they're already grounded. So there you go, guys. He's got the aluminum alloy wheels on it. He's got a spare tire with it. We're going to figure out what to do with that spare tire. And like I said, we're going to put a toolbox up front here. So there you go. You can do any job you want to do with this bad boy. So we're running a half inch line from the pressure washer to the reel. So that way... When you run your half inch line, there's the rest of the half inch line right there caught up. So you want to run a half inch line to the reel to get the volume that you want to get. And then you want to take and run another 50 foot half inch on the reel and then reduce it down to the 3 8 regular pressure washing hose. That gives you all your uh, pressure that you need. So... Next thing we're going to be doing, guys, is we get down inside the big 500-gallon tank. We vacuum it out, get all the shavings out, make sure everything's done. We stick a shot back down the 55-gallon tank, uh, get all the shavings out of it, all the plastic. So make sure you always do that, guys. When you work on these tanks, get your shot back and vacuum them out. That way you don't have any issues, stuff get in your filters or get into your machines and stop your uh, check valves up. All right, Jeff, hope you see your rig, man. My brother sells these trailers, guys. They're Mastiff. They're made out of Tennessee. They are well-built trailers. And one of the things I like about them is the tongue comes under the trailer and goes all the way here. So your tongue don't just stop right there. You got extra support goes all the way to the front tire. So it gives you a lot more support on these Mastiff trailers. So, all right, let me step back a little bit and give y'all a good view of it. There she is. Once I get the hoses on it, uh, it's going to rain here Tuesday. I got to work all day tomorrow, work real late tomorrow. Uh, got about six, seven calls due tomorrow. Get those knocked out. going to rain Tuesday. I'll finish her up by Tuesday. So, she should be ready to roll out of here next weekend. And I'll get Mr. Jeff, and he'll drive from Ohio, come pick her up, and we'll spend a day working her, showing him how everything works. And I'll get everything tidied up, get all the clamps on the hoses uh, down to the bed so that nothing moves around. But the best thing, yeah, my neighbor needs a lot, brother. Needs their gutters clean, needs their roof clean, needs everything. These jokers out here, they don't want to pay you nothing. But uh, the best thing about these gas roof pumps now, guys, is the uh, proportioner system, the way I've got them. This is top notch. You see, I've got them labeled. I had these made up so I can put them on there. So when guys get them, they know exactly what it is. Again, this is your main outlet. This comes around and comes right here into your gas roof pump. This is your bypass. That's 25 feet of coiled up hose. So it goes here, 
it runs from here through that hose and comes back here, bypasses through the hose. That way you uh, don't burn your pump up. All right, it's getting dark, so I'll let you guys go. Just want to show you all this, show you where we at. So guys, I'll probably, as soon as I get a break, we'll be making these up and they'll be ready to sell. So we'll be shipping them out here shortly. So I'll make some of them up. And uh, I'm trying to find different ways to cut back on expenses on these things so they don't cost so much. And that's what we're doing now. And this is all you need for your soap. These little Pentair valves or whatever they call them, they're... They're great for soap, so he won't ever have any issue out of that. And I like the way it's labeled on and off. And so, but there she is. All right, guys, I'm gonna jump off here. Been out here since uh, about 7.30 this morning. Been on it all day long. If you have never built one of these, you don't realize the work that goes into them. Even these smaller trailers. All right. Hey, Jonathan. I like your videos, man. I like the uh, YouTube channel, too. I've been watching it. Uh, Lou, you want to know how much, I guess you mean, for the whole setup? Guys, just your equipment alone on a trailer like this is going to cost you around 12000 uh, trailer, everything, you're looking between fifteen, sixteen thousand dollars $16,000 for a setup like this. But it's well worth it. So any of you guys, you know, if you want to build you one, that's about what you'll have in it. About fifteen, sixteen, And don't ask me to build them. I don't have time. The only reason I'm building this for Jeff is because I promised to him six months ago, and I'm just honoring what I told him. But... When I retire, I guess I'll build these. And I'm hoping maybe next year or so retire, then I'll just start piddling around with trailers. All right, guys. I'll let y'all run. It's getting dark. So we'll see y'all later. Y'all have a good weekend. The metering, uh, Lou, you're probably looking uh, at that metering system probably about $1,000 if I built you one and sold it to you. So... Clayton said, nice work, Leon. I used my gas roof pump with the metering manifold I built. And you're right, a major game changer. That's right. Yeah, you're looking around $1,000, uh, the metering, everything you see right here. That's what I'm thinking. You uh, About $1,000 for everything. All you do, this is all you do, guys, when you buy this. You just mount it on your trailer and put your hoses onto it. Everything's done. Everything's wired. Everything's ready to go. So it makes it real simple. Real simple. So. There you go. See what I put on, don't you? Got my stamp on it. All right, guys. Y'all have a good night. I got to run. Been out here all day. Go eat some supper. Get ready to work hard tomorrow. And uh, y'all have a great week. Hope y'all make a lot of money. Get out there and make you about $2,500 a day. Do that for about five days, six days a week. Six days a week, you'll make you some good money. All right, we'll see y'all. Uh, so, all right, you guys know how. Y'all better look out. Jeff's coming after you. Talk to y'all later.